always dreamed about it was to sit in a tree stand um, and shoot a big kudu bull with, with my bow. Are you kidding me? Hunting is what I do. It's what I am. It's what we are. It's in our blood. Always has been. Always will be. Welcome to season eight. Buddy. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'm speechless. When I started putting these these uh, hunting canopy on group trips together, um, you know we like to obviously go as a group. Uh, the last time we come to Africa, we had a great time and we hunted with a great outfitter. But um, it just seemed the group was too big. It was uh, there was too many people. So when I decided to do another group trip to Africa, I contacted Lamy at Dare to Bull Hunt. Great people, small organization, and very hands-on. And if you're you know we were looking to bow hunt and bow hunt only so you know it was it was a great place because uh, that's all they do is just bow hunt so they got great setups and and the whole nine yards so you know in in Zululand there's there's you know the native species there I took a great Nyala um, Brandon was long hunt, uh, running the camera and uh, on the last day he took a kudu uh, which in that part of the country Kudu are very few and far between, um, and he's very lucky he took a, a great kudu. I was kind of actually a little bit jealous because I've always wanted to take a, a big old kudu boat, uh, bull with a bow. So <clears throat> Lamy said, you know, let's hunt Zululand. Um, so the first group come in there, we had we had a great hunt. So after we were done our six six days of hunting in uh, Zululand at that at Lamy's camp there, we. Um, packed up the rigs and headed back to Johannesburg, took that group of hunters back and uh, the next group flew in that night and um, they actually chartered a plane from Johannesburg up here to the Kalahari. Well we drove here this morning, the rest of them flew in on a turbo prop. Took us about eight and a half hours to get here and it took them two from Joburg. But they're here, let the hunt begin. It was totally, it's a totally different country here. It's, uh, you know, it's a lot flatter, sandy, uh, thicker. But the main focus for me on this trip was uh, I wanted to hunt kudu. And Lammy said, if you put in your time, uh, you know, there's some great kudu bulls around. So that's exactly what I what I intended to do. My my preference, and I've always dreamed about it, was to sit in a tree stand um, and shoot a big kudu bull with, with my bow. And Lammy said, you know what? I got I I do have a setup uh, over a water hole. Uh, and you can bull hunt it, but you're gonna have to film it yourself. Let's hunker in. We've got the camera down here, camera up here. I'm trying to self film. We'll see what happens. We kind of got the tripod zip tied to the tree, so it's kind of a makeshift, but it's pretty cool sitting in 
right on the Botswana border in the very north part of South Africa waiting for there's a kudu, gemsbok, zebra, all kinds of stuff. So, anyways, it was just one of them days where the animals were moving lots, and and we saw, or I guess not we, I guess I saw uh, all kinds of critters. First afternoon hunt, and we've already seen uh, kudu, gemsbok, which one big bull never give me a shot. Our dog so far, but you never know what might walk through here. This season of Hunting Canada and Beyond TV is brought to you by Excalibur Crossbow, the world's most accurate crossbow, guaranteed. Ozonics, in the field ozone generator. Scott Archery. Spy Point. Get the point, get Spy Point. The Beretta family of firearms. CBE bow sights. Summit Tree Scouts. And by Elite Archery. Respect the game. So we got up, had a good breakfast, and I went to the tree stand. The first animal that I saw that morning was a great big kudu bull. And I could, he, he, you know, he come to the water, everything was cool, but I just could not get a shot at him and he walked out. And that's just the way it is. I mean, uh, the, the thing here in Africa is uh, the animals are so tough. Uh, you're gonna wanna make a, a perfect shot on these animals, or try to do the most ethical shot possible. Are you freaking kidding me? Walk right in, faced, and one shot going away. And then he walks away. So, the big kudu walks away. And uh, I sit there for two more days. And on day three, I think it was, I had another big kudu bull. Um, you know, he come in, he basically just appeared. So that one got away, he come in, he had a drink, quartered on, he did what was broadside once and probably if I wasn't trying to run both cameras I could have got a shot at that, that big bull, but he turned and walked away. Are you kidding me? opportunities do present themselves and even though I was hunting a big kudu I, uh, I passed up a, a couple big red heart of beasts and I was showing Lammy the footage and he said you're you know you're crazy you, you gotta you gotta shoot some of these animals the next day uh, first first thing a herd of blue wildebeest come in and I'd never killed one rifle bow anything and in that group was a giant I mean a giant bull so I decided Opportunities right in front of me, so let's go ahead and take this bull. Down. Oh, it's a big ball. 
trackers are unbelievable. They, you know, we come, we found the bull. Good? Yeah, very. They call this the poor man's Cape Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. When he come, when I saw him come from behind, I, I knew he was pretty good. You were telling me anything past the years. Past the years. Yeah. And he just looked way bigger than the rest of them. So, it took me forever to get a shot, but <laughs> finally got it done. <laughs> Seems like a week I've been hunting for trying to get a shot at these things. Anyways, there's bunches, and you've passed up a couple. So this is a very good one. Yeah. And excellent. Yeah. You can see the stand from here. So. Yeah. You do that, that's a good shot. Smack on, that's where it went. Yeah. All the way down. Well, let's take a few pictures and then... Back in the tree. Back in the tree. <laughs> in the jail. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. Good job. Appreciate Chris. it. One, two, three. They just, we just come in with the Jeep and drop me off right under the tree here. Later that afternoon, I mean, just so it is, uh, a, I mean, a great big warthog come um, come in with a, a sow, and there's a few other animals around there. And he, you know, he was a little skittish going to the water trough, but but uh, he finally finally presented me with a shot. Thanks for running the can camera, Randy. Uh, no problem. No, it's one of them animals that, if you ever come to Africa, you're gonna wanna try to hunt because they're pretty cool. They're ugly as heck, but they're pretty cool. Before the break here, let's take a look at some of the other animals that, I guess, as opportunity pops up, um, and, you know, talking to Lammy and, and, and the crew here, anytime you see a jackal, you better take it. We'll be right back after this. Oh boy, there's nothing like Africa. It's now getting towards the end of the hunt. I think we'd figured it out. I had close to maybe even a little over 60 hours sitting in that tree stand and still no opportunity at a kudu. And lo and behold, you know, the sun, the sun come up Lammy just dropped me off. I, got, I just got the camera set up and I looked off to the side and that same Kudu bull that I'd seen five or six days previous, he's coming down the same path. And I was just hoping and praying that he was gonna come in for a drink. So it took him quite a while and, and you know, a lot of times they'll just stand back, them, Gems, Buck, you know, especially the big old mature animals. They'll just stand back and just watch that water hole. Um, just to make sure that, that uh, everything's clear and it's just the way they are. I mean, you know, lions, leopards, everything stalks these things in the water. So he stayed out there and next thing I could kind of see him kind of coming through the trees and um, he come in and he was just sketched right out. So I thought, you know, the first good shot opportunity I had, I'd, I'd definitely take this big bull. It was so calm out, I didn't know if I should draw my bull because, I mean, they'll pick you off. It doesn't matter whether you're in tree stand or ground blind, they'll, they'll, they got unbelievable. They're like an elk, a white tail, I mean everything on steroids. They're, they just got everything, big old ears like satellite dishes. So he went out to about, oh I, I think it was about 27, 28 yards and, and he was pretty steep pouring and away. Um, so I settled the pin and, and took the shot. Waiting a long time for that. 
chuck pad. Oh my god. That is the giant we've seen the first day. When the arrow hit him, it it didn't look like great penetration to me, but um, you know I took the shot. Um, was it the best shot? I don't know. You know, again we're dealing with tough, tough animals. So I called Lammy and I, I said, you know, we better give this thing at least a couple hours before we start. And uh, so we did that. I just sat in the tree and had a had a few more animals come around, you know, come by. And, Lammy made her there and he brought Pete the tracker and, and uh, the, I just can't, I can't even explain how these, these trackers are unbelievable. Like about 15 minutes later, Pete, he whistles us over and he says it went this way and he's got a stick and it's just the way they track and I, I said to Lammy, I said like, what, what is he going on? And he says, no, he sees this is where the coup run. All right, so the next thing we find blood and we find more blood and more blood. All right, he crossed this road and he's still going, so it's not a, as good a shot as we thought it was. So, to make a long story short, we went about a couple hundred yards and Lammy spots him laying under a tree, still alive. So, I put knock an arrow, Lammy gets the camera. I try to get a shot, he gets up, runs away. Oh, I just couldn't believe it. For Hunting Canada Beyond news, updates, and contests, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and menoutdoors.com. So when we went up to where uh, he is bedded, the blood trail from then on was unbelievable, like something I've never seen before. And I said to him, I said, I mean, this thing can't go very far. And Lamb says, they're tough. I mean, they got a will to live, and I, I couldn't believe it, actually. We snuck up to him again. Um, he was laying, laying down broadside and Lammy says take the shot and he stood up so I knocked another arrow and I knew he was more like 50 yards so you know, compensated a little bit and, and shot him good that, that next shot. Well that's not the real way to do it but these things are tough as heck and that's as real as it gets right there. Seen this bull the very first day, couldn't get a shot at him. And uh, this is what, day five? 60 some hours in the tree stand and you come back. <laughs> oh, they're super pretty. Always wanted to shoot one with a bull out of a tree. Like, I don't know why, but here he is. And I gotta thank the guy that's behind the camera. That's a heck of a bull. He's not real wide, but man, he's. And then he tips forward again. He's got everything you want in yeah. the Man, they're beautiful and tough. I can't even imagine. Like our game in North America would have been down and out 300 yards ago. This is exactly what I come for. And we're having a great trip. Too bad it's just about over. If you're a bull hunter and you want to come to Africa to bull hunt, you got to go with a only a bull hunting only place and dare to bull hunt's the place. It's it's an unbelievable place. They got great setups and uh, lots of animals. Unbelievable. So all in all, you know, it was. It's a great, a great time. The, the food, the accommodations, the everything. At night, you know, everybody would sit around the the big fire there and tell how their day went and what happened and what they saw and. And uh, you know, it's just a great place to come. I look forward to coming back and hunting with uh, Lammy Nelson at, at Dare to Bow Hunt. It's, and if you have any questions, get a hold of me. I'll help you however I, I can from booking um, flights, the whole nine yards. I'll, I'll do what I can to, uh, 
to get you right here in Africa. For Hunting Canada and Beyond Gear and Apparel, go to CanadianHuntShop.com. Track and Trail Adventures, worldwide hunting, any hunt, anywhere. We will make your dreams become reality. I think he brought the gun because I'm not sure if he trusts my shooting or not.